Barakata Yehawa, Barakata Yehawa Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash, Koholoim La, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. Shalom to the Lord's elect, the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which would be uh, you so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners. Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations, and speaking their tongues. Shabbat Shalom. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you since they are Akim who are laboring in the works. Shabbat Shalom to you believers, to the Akim, Wa Akwat which will be you brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth, listening and learning in silence as the scriptures say so. I'm your brother, Manazar Gabar, out here in Pasadena, Texas. Lord willing, this lesson going into how Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are two different entities. Okay, it's going to be a, a response to this video, the lesson that Elder Pastor Hart did uh, recently, I think like two days ago, a few days ago, how IUIC, Israel United in Christ, really saying Jesus is God now or not. Nah. So IUIC are saying that, saying the names Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Is pretty much saying the same person, the same entity, okay, which is false. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, are two different entities, okay. We're going to prove the scriptures, low willing. I'm just going to let a little bit play of it. I'm going to leave the link in the description box, and uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it in the description box. So I subscribe to Elder Pastor Har's uh, channel. This is one of his many channels. His other channel is currently on strike. Uh, GMS declaring the end, if I'm not mistaken. G GMS declaring the end. I'm gonna let, uh, let this part play. So fair use, fair use, fair use. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna entitle this video this is confirmation that IUIC teaches that the mo the Most High God and the Son of God is one and the same. I didn't put no names to it. I didn't put God, Most High, G, Jehovah, Jehovah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I didn't put no names up there. <coughs> but um, you even got uh, and we heard it. What was this? Two weeks ago, two three weeks ago, and we um got on them about that you know we did videos in relation in, in regards to that uh to that subject anyway you got uh uh vocab malone even upset and he's up it up it up in arms over it you know so here it is i'm just gonna let it play i'm not gonna say too much uh vocab malone it was just put up 19 go are you i see really saying jesus is god meaning the father now, uh, now or nah. Okay, so now let's let's uh, let's let it play. This is fair use, fair use, fair use. And then now that IUIC teaches that Jesus is God, kind of, kind of, sort of, not really. Remember the Exodus 6 and 3? You remember that? The Almighty God? Well, my name was not known to them? You know what I'm talking about? They look confused. It's the same guy. So when you really, when you say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're really saying, you know, you're saying this, talking to the same person twice. My name was not known to them? You know what I'm talking about? They look confused. It's the same guy. So when you really, when you say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're really saying, you know, you're saying this talk to the same person twice. Really. Yeah. What's you really doing? <laughs> Think about it. You remember he's saying that... And they're clearly talking about us and other camps out there that 
they push the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, there's some precepts that come to mind. I'm not even going to go to them. Where um, they're saying the son is the father, the father is the son. Uh, there's a there's a ham there's a few scripts uh, precepts that come to my mind. Uh, All right. So uh, I'm gonna leave the uh, the link to Elder Apostle Sahar's uh, lesson in the description box. Take heed to it. Very edi uh, very edifying. All right. So I'm gonna uh, get some scriptures over here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into this topic right here. Yahawa and Yahawashai are two different entities. Okay. So let me get this very quick. Before I get that, let me get uh, the scripture that, that just came to mind through the Spirit. Mark, dumb. Uh, that cause of division, I think, something like that. The, the division, something like that. Little one that pops up. Romans, okay. Let's see. Okay, so let me highlight this very quick. All right. Okay. All right, so the book of Romans, chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, the KJV, verse 17. Now I beset you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. All right? So we, right, prophets, teachers, right, men of the Lord, we are to mark them. We are to set, uh, let me get this in, um, over here and, uh, let me get the breakdown for that very right quick. Uh, when you actually go into that word mark, all right, we're gonna go back to this real quick. Let's go into that word mark. Mark, mark, here we go. All right, mark them. Okay. Uh, Strong's G46, 48, Scorpio. Scorpio, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Salakia. The point I want to get this is uh, down here, right? To look at, observe, uh, contemplate, to mark, to fix one's eyes upon, direct one's attention to. All right, so when we see. Uh, for an example, like reprobates, IUIC, those who you saw in that video, where we're directing the flock's attention so they can see like, hey, you see, you see these uh, these reprobates? They're teaching the false doctrine, all right? They're, they're going against the doctrine. They're going against the, uh, the, the truth, okay? So we have to mark, we have to like uh, uh, put like a beacon, a sign, on people that's going against the doctrine okay and this is one of one of uh one of uh many examples saying how that calling upon the names yahweh bashmi shai is pretty much talking to the same person twice which is wrong okay it's going off hopefully that makes sense let's go back okay um all right, so now I beset you, brethren, mark them, which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Contrary. Opposite in nature, direction, or meaning. All right, opposite, opposing, conflicting, right, opposed. Of two or more things contrasting or conflicting with each other. So, for example, IUIC, what they're saying there, they're 
opposed. They're, uh, they're going against the doctrine, if that makes sense. All right. But I want to get to actual scriptures that actually goes into how our, our Heavenly Father and our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, are two different entities. Now I beset you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine, opposite of the doctrine, this truth, which ye have learned and avoid dumb. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts, the minds of the simple. That's why IUIC has such large congregation, a large uh, 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 model followers, because the way how they deliver their their bullshit, pretty much how they present, how they sell, how they promote their business, their congregation is you no know, by by these fair speeches with these all, all the visual the technology all this entertainment myths fables right and of course you know uh Jake is going to be uh easily deceived especially Eve are going to be easily deceived by it okay but that's why you have real shepherds real men of the Lord of Yahweh Bashmi Shai Right, the the uh, our elders, the apostles, the bishops, a great millstone, the sincere brothers of a great millstone, and the men on down, that's able to mark these men, point it out to you, so you can see the difference, okay, of who's serving Yahweh Shai Mashiach and who's not, okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's go here. Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai are two different entities. The book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 4. Who ascended up into heaven and descended? Who have gathered the winds, gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bond the waters in his inner garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? Right, the Heavenly Father's name, the Most High, and what is His Son's name? If thou canst, if thou canst tell, and that's one of the secrets, one of the many secrets that Yahweh Bashmi Oshai will uh, reveal unto it, uh, re reveal unto His servants, the prophets. He will reveal Himself. He's going to give you his name, his identity. Amos 3, 7. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7, KJV. Surely the Lord power, Yahweh, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to reveal it right quick. I remember going this is in the past. Um, let's see, okay. So, when you go into reveal it, Strong's H1540, Gala or Gala Gala, so lucky if I'm pronouncing that wrong. When you go down here. To reveal himself of the Most High. Okay. So the Lord, Yahweh, he revealed himself by giving his true name. Okay. And we're also going to have the true name of his only begotten son. Okay. All right. Surely the Lord power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. His secrets. Right, Strong's H fifty four seventy five, Sawad, Sawad, a session, i.e., company of persons, uh, intimacy, right? By 
blessing us with the understanding of the scriptures through the Racha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. Secret assembly, council, all right? So when you go down here, uh, secret council. So this is a secret council, all right? And the Lord is only going to reveal his true names, all right? Onto his servants of prophets in the secret council. Right? And only the elect are going to have that. And they're going to worship those names. And they're going to believe in it. They're going to believe that the Heavenly Father Yahweh is the Most High. And Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach is another entity. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it says right here. What is his name and what is his son's name? If... Thou can tell. And only the elect will be able to tell. Because that's a secret. Okay? You only, and you only share secrets with people who you really trust and care about, right? Daniel chapter 7 verse 13. I saw in the night visions. And behold, one like the Son of Man came with clouds of heaven. And came to the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him okay so the ancient of days that's another title of our heavenly father yahweh okay yahweh shai came before our heavenly father yahweh right it's the son of man that's another title another description of lord yahweh shai son of man okay matthew 24 and 36 red lettering lord yahweh shai speaking here but of that day and hour knoweth no man, not the angels of heaven. And let's not forget, Lo Yahweh Shai is an angel too, right? He's the first spirit created. That's why he's known as what? The only begotten son of the heavenly father Yahweh. But of that day and hour, know of no man. So no one knows, not even how Shai knows the exact second, minute, hour, day, month, the, the moment when he's going to return and deliver his elect and destroy America. No one knows but the father himself only, Yahweh. But of that day and hour, knoweth no man. No. Not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Matthew chapter 26, verse 53. Thinkest thou that I can not now pray to my father and he shall present, he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? So clearly, Lo Yahweh Shai, when he when he prayed, right, he didn't pray to himself. He prayed to a higher power. He prayed to his heavenly father, our heavenly father, Abba Nawa Yahweh. Okay. Luke chapter 18, verse 19, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one, that is the Most High Yahweh. Another clear cut that Lord Yahweh Shai knew that he's not the Most High. He knew that there is a higher power and there was only one true good. Okay? Our Heavenly Father Yahweh, because Yahweh Shai understood reincarnation. He understood that in his past lives, he committed iniquity. He falls short. Right, the guard, uh, Garden of Eden when he was Adam. Think of uh, Isaac. Um, the other ones I can think of of Yahweh Shai's reincarnation and the best of my ability, uh, King Solomon, and then when he came down as the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. Okay. There is only one good, and that's our Heavenly Father Yahweh. This is what Yahweh Shai is saying. Hopefully that makes sense. John chapter 10, verse 29, my father, Yahweh, which gave them me, them is the elect, is greater than all. That's why there's a term called aristocrats. 
the best of his class, of his kind. Okay, and that's the elect of Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Right, because uh, not all Israel is of Israel of the Most High. So Israel itself, the nation Yasha Allah, is a chosen nation. Within within the nation of Israel, there's a chosen within a chosen, if that makes sense. And that's uh, right here. Uh, my father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And none, it's like it, and no man is able to pluck them, the elect, out of my father's hand, my father's hand. So Lo Shai is speaking of another entity. He's talking about his heavenly father. Another clear cut. Saying Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is not saying the same entity. No, it's two different entities. Okay. Hopefully it makes sense. John chapter 12, verse 44, KJV. Yahweh Shai cried and said, He that believeth on me, Believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And who sent him? Who sent Yahweh Shai? Who sent the Messiah? The Most High Yahweh. So Yahweh Shai is saying that, you know, Israelites who believes on Yahweh Shai, it's not because you believe in Yahweh Shai, but because you believe on the Heavenly Father who sent Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. So because you believe in Yahweh Shai, that means you believe in the most high Yahweh. You believe that there was a that there's a higher entity known as the Most High Yahweh that sent his only begotten son, another entity. Hopefully that makes sense. John chapter 12, verse 49, red lettering. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment what I should say and what I should speak. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai, didn't come down to speak on, you know, on his own behalf. Well, right. Trying to establish his own will. Right? No, he came here as a representative, uh, representing someone, someone that sent him, our Heavenly Father Yahweh, to do our Heavenly Father's will. Okay? For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment. He, right, the Heavenly Father, Gave me, Yahweh Shai, a commandment. What I should say and what I should speak. Okay. John chapter 14 verse 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, even women, right? It's no men, women, children, young, old, right? Especially women. Right, but especially our nation, Israel, right? No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, because Yahweh Shai is known as the mediator, right? He's, uh, I'm gonna get that right quick. Let's see, he's down here somewhere. He's a mediator, 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 mediator. I know I'm not tripping, I see it somewhere. Uh, bear with me. Mediator, mediator. Um, mediator. Here we go. First Timothy chapter two, verse five. Now, remember, Yahweh, I said what? That nobody, that no man can come to the father, but by him only. Right. Because he is known as a mediator. First Timothy chapter two, verse five. For there is one God. One power, right? The most high, one most high and one mediator and one mediator between the most high Yahweh and men, right? And, and the nation of Israel, 
the man Hamashiach Yahushai, right? So a mediator, right? A go between, a inner, inner new theater. It's like if I'm pronouncing that wrong. All right, let me get this very quick. One who intervenes between two, either in order, either in order to make or restore, to restore peace, to restore peace and friendship, or form a combat, a compact, or for ratifying a covenant. So Lo Yahushai, let's say he's the middleman, right? He's a he's the goal, he's a goal between to establish that uh that that friendship, right? The peace between our heavenly father that our forefathers had believed in and worshipped in and us, the nation. So when you go into this word, right? Uh search web. Internuncio. A messenger between two parties. So, for an example, our Heavenly Father and the nation of Israel. And Lo Yahushai is the messenger that's between us. That's why we can't go directly to the Heavenly Father. We got to go to our Lo Yahushai Mashiach. And then Yahushai will speak on our behalf. Okay? Clearly, it's two different entities. Look at it this way. Our Heavenly Father himself is a judge. Fear him only, right? Second Edgar, chapter 16. Uh, I think verse 67 in the case of the Apocrypha, right? You know, to fear the Most High because he's he's a judge. Just paraphrasing, he's a judge. Look at Yahweh Shai as a lawyer, right? He's the best lawyer that any Israelite can have. So the lawyer would speak on your behalf, right? Showing evidence, bringing forth your case, okay? To prove you uh, innocent or guilty, right? Two thirds, for an example, right? So there's a court section going on up there, all right? And Loi Hawashai is a mediator. He's like a lawyer. For there is one power, Yahweh, and one mediator between the Most High Yahweh and men, the man, yeah, uh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right. So let me get another one to make another point. Uh, that the head of every man. Here we go. The Book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse three, KJV. But I will have you know. But I would have you know that the head of every man is. Hamashiach Yahweh And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the Israelite woman is the Israelite man. And the head of Yahweh is Yahweh. Clearly two different entities. When you go into this word head, Strong G twenty seven seventy six. Ha, ha, key no. It's like let me go to the blue of the Bible right quick. I want to make sure I get the the pronunciation. Bear with me. Make sure I pronounce that correctly so I can hear it. Bear with me. Um, blue letter Bible. Going to that word head. Here we go. Strong's G twenty seven seventy six. Kefale. 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 Okay, so you heard it there. All right. All right. So head, right? You get. Uh, let's go down here. Right. Right. 
metaphorical for what? Anything supreme, chief, prominent. So, you no, know, someone that's of a higher power, right? Someone of power. So when you go down here, oh, my bad. I'm trying to highlight this part down here. Of persons, master, lord. Right, so head, master, lord. Of a husband in relation to his wife. Now, when you go down here, all right, of Hamashiach, the anointed, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, of the husband and of the church. So, Master Lord, right? So, I but I will have you know, right? First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, but I will have you know that the Master Lord. Son of supreme power, right? That the head of every man is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And, and the head, the master, the Lord of the woman is the man. And the master, the Lord of the Most High, Amshlachia. And the head, the master, the Lord of Yahweh Shai is the Most High, Yahweh. Okay. Uh, that scripture... Um, Goes into how that my uh, the Lord spoken unto my Lord. Uh, uh, so I remember I got a notification how a brother's actually going to going into a lesson like that too. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, the Lord uh, speak. I think speak unto my Lord. So, uh, hopefully I can find it. Let's see. Okay. So the book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse 1, KJV. A Psalm of David. The Lord, and it's capitalized, right? When it's capitalized, you will get uh, the name of the Most High in Hebrew. Yahweh. Yahweh. Said unto my Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. So our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, is at this moment, to this day, sitting, right? The Messiah is sitting next to. The Most High, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, on his right side. Okay? It says what? Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Alright? So clearly these, these are two different entities. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are two different entities. So low willing to let was edifying, plain upon the tables. For Israelites that's new in the faith, come to this truth. We highly suggest... That if you're sincere on seeking for the truth, real answers, do not take heed to these reprobate camps like IUIC, GOCC, Sakari, I should be K, Wacky Tacky Christian, and etc. Uh, Buddha, Allah, the Quran, uh, the Egyptian shit, and and, and etc. Take heed to the elders, the apostles, the bishops, the elder brothers. And uh, of great millstone and the sincere brothers on down, man. All right, all right. Pray to Yahweh Bashmi Oshai to increase your your spiritual discernment, to be able to discern between uh, the men that actually has the truth, the complete truth that's teaching the truth, and the uh, Israelites out there that's the Israelites that's out there known as reprobates. They're they're liking onto. A, a, a tree that's producing bad fruits, okay? Bad, poisonous doctrines, okay? So, low willing use edify, plain upon the tables. I'm going to close out by giving the much to all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadas. Low willing, on to the next one. Shalom.